welcome back student we are on, on problem number 9 of etu's first and second semester computer programming laboratory course so vtu's pro, uh, lab pro, lab program number 9 says write and execute a c program that 9a implements a string copy operation str copy which takes an uh, it's an it's a function which com takes a string 1 and string 2 that copies the string str1 to another string str2 without using the string copy library function okay this is we need to implement our own string copy and the second one is 9b read a sentence and print the frequency of vowels and total count of consonants so basically a e i o u is the vowel in a character or a sentence and anything else outside this is a consonant not within the alphabeticals so no numbers or 1 2 3 so a, a u i o u is the vowels and none of these vowels becomes a count for consonant okay let me quickly give you an example of how the for loop the core algorithm is just have a while loop so let's take a string uh, source string 1 as a source and the string 2 as a destination just to make it clear so the first one is copies the string 1 to another string 2 without using a library function so string source or string 1 and destination are two characters uh, ca array of characters and when you uh, any string is always terminated with a null or a slash o in string the string in c programming language is actually one dimension array of characters which is terminated by a null character which is a slash zero so whenever you get a null character you can assume confidently that the string whatever is o because you don't need to read what is it, it is okay whenever you hit a null you can say okay the string is done so you can stop copying thus a null terminator string contains the characters that comprise of strings followed by a null okay whenever you get a null that means the string is over so scan of print of of a character strings automatically inserts these nulls so the simple not using a library function is you we copy character by character so basically while the string the source of j++ is not equal to null we be in this do while loop okay so do while loop works very good for this so character by character we copy from source to the destination so let me take a quick example of say source has a string called instant k i n s t a n t k okay and followed by null so what this uh, core algorithm of three line all here you have to assume is just a three lines okay so what it does is it enters here copies and while the first it checks here and then increments so that is what j++ you should be very careful you should not say plus plus j if it is plus plus j it will increment first and then do the comparison so th this is uh, you would have taught you in your uh, programming c programming programming in c theory concept so j++ so what it does is it first falls here first does a copy then checks here if, the, if it is a source of uh, j is equal is not equal to 0 it will increment and go up or else it will just exit so what it does is it is copying first entry second entry checking each time so it will go as soon as it copies k next time it comes it even copies the null here and then checks while source of j is not equal to 0 yeah it is it is equal to 0 so it will just exit out of it it may increment but we don't care okay so this is a typical algorithm of uh, uh 9a okay so let's let's uh, go to the programming part of it quickly so it is not a big code very simple which is 9 okay so what
what I have done is I have clubbed both 9A and 9B here. So, source is a character, array of character and destination is array of character. So, you could re replace with a string 1 and string 2 or you could replace whatever you in your college they have taught you. Okay. And let me come to 9A first and then go to 9B. So, string copy using a do while is as simple as this. You just initialize j is equal to 0 do and do a string copy of destination j is equal to so. So, character by character we are copying and you should be very careful here while source j plus plus if not equal to 0. So, we are first checking here and then increment. So, that is that the key of j plus plus. So, we copy character by character and whenever we hit a null, we just exit out of it. So, we copy null also. That is an advantage if you do J++, including copy the source to destination and we compile. So, here enter the string which is to be copied, we are getting a get string and print, we are copying the print, copied string is again the destination, percentages, that's why I just need to give destination. So, this should print the, uh, complete the 9A. So, the second one is print frequency of each of the following ovals and total num count of consonants. So, what I have defined here is uh, as an integer index a is equal to 0 e I am just just to be this thing have a local variable called a e i o u and consonant all of them are initialized to 0 index is initialized to 0. So, what we do is we I am taking the same uh, destination and check comparing uh, co giving a result. So, what I do is for index is equal to 0 to index till we get null index plus plus. Okay. Here you can say plus plus index and both are same. It is not going to change. So, if the destination index is character A or capital character A increment A, A plus 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 of A. If it is E or capital E increment, so these local variables being incremented, if we get each of the character, we check the character, if it the character contains any of the ovals, we do that. And again, if it is A index is greater than A, the first character and less than Z and if it is destination is greater than capital A less than Z because we don't want to take if you put 25 we don't want to add it to consonant it is not a consonant only if it is alphabet we increment to consonant and we just print it here so that is 9b it is a very simple for 0 till you get the null as I explained every string will have a null it should have a null to terminate it ok so, till we get null, we are counting here and whatever the count we get, OLA is occurring in so many times, B, E, I, O, U and total number of consonants. So, this is a simple code, let us test it. So, the first one is 9A is byte by byte, character uh, by character copy till we get hit a null and the second one is we count from 0 till we get a null. If, he, if each has any care, each car has a A, E, I, O, U or else we can get into consonant, that's it. So, the program is as simple as this. So, let me compile, compile, run. Okay, so let's compare which enter the string need to be copied. I will say instant k is the string need to be copied. Here you can see instant k a has 1 so it is copied as instant k done 9 b is a is 1 i has 1 and the consonants are 6 ok so let me try uh, another one so ravi 25 ok here you can see 25 but it is counting only uh, R A V I there is a two ovals A and R I 
and two consonants R and V. So the 25 number is discarded. Okay. So it, this is a uh, correct output. So it is giving two vowels and two consonants. Right. So the next one is if I run something called uh, uh, what is the next uh, say abi so here again it has a and i b and h is a consonant so the it printed two vowels a and i and two as two as consonants okay so that's it the program is as simple as this so I have clubbed it into say whatever user enters as a to be copied, I'm checking here. Okay. So in, in your college they may ask you to make it two separate, you are welcome to do it. You have another scan F to get the uh, one and then go and have this for loop to check the OLs and consonant and print it. You could uh, divide into two. So basically what we are saying is whatever is comfortable, whatever thought in your college, just follow that. Uh, also, if you are comfortable, you could follow. But anyway, this is a valid one. They should give you a full marks. Okay. And uh, let me quit. So this is the, uh, this is what we did. Just copy by, byte by byte copy till we get a null. So you, here the string, anything you are working with string, strings, you should be very careful with the null. Okay, it should insert it with null, then only you know it is terminated. So, okay, so why the video revision is seven times better than notes and guides? So why are you watching this computer programming uh, lab video and in SNK as all other videos like mathematics, one, two, basic electrical, basic electronics. So you may be used to reading the notes, uh, Xerox, any other form, but the research has said that study uh, whatever is written words in form of Xerox, notes, book, communicate only 7% to what it means. That means whatever is written really it communicates 7%. Voice, uh, voice tones and any other form is 38%. But a video, the communication bandwidth, the understanding, how much you can understand goes up to 55 percent. So from a Xerox notes, whatever you are doing from 7 percent to 55 percent, it's a seven times better. So no wonder instant case courses have been so successful and last semester I believe 95.2 percent passed in the video uh, exams. So just try it out, there are lots of them free on YouTube. And it is done exactly suggested, prescribed by the syllabus. There is no word outside it. So what you are earn, earning, spending time is a totally going to results in a good results, uh, to the good marks. Okay, thank you.